And now it's my great pleasure to introduce actor of stage and screen, John Hurd. Hi, everybody. I'm John Hurd, not Hurt. Uh, I'm competing with the construction site, as usual. It's kind of ironic, destruction, construction. Uh, I'm a, uh, a Hollywood actor. I'm a conspiracy freak. I'm a conspiracy buff. So I was listening to Michael Parente in his essay on the JFK assassination recently, and he said, uh, imagine anybody that wanted to get to the truth of the Holocaust being described as a Holocaust buff or a Holocaust freak. Uh, I, I have a girlfriend who is a working class gal and she supported three kids for 20 years being a bartender and a waitress. And she has absolutely nothing to do with any of my politics, won't talk to me about it, loves America. I finally prevailed upon her to watch the 9-11 Truth DVD and when she was finished watching it, she turned around and she said to me, why isn't this being investigated? This looks like controlled demolition, just like they say. Why isn't this being investigated? And that was a... Both Afghanistan, millions of people in Iraq and Afghanistan have been killed as a result of the events of 9-11. Events which have never been properly investigated, period. Now how is it possible that the worst crime in American history has never been properly investigated? I mean, have we not seen one episode of CSI or listening to Nancy Grace or so-and-so go on about a law and order where a particle of hair or a, a fingernail or some lipstick on a cigarette leads us to the who the true culprit is? Yet, this crime, the greatest crime in American history, has never been properly investigated. So I'm honored to stand before you today in solidarity with the, with the military officers, scientists, my fellow artists, and in support of a fully independent investigation into the events of September 11, 2001. Over 100 artists, filmmakers, musicians, and writers have signed the 9-11 Truth Petition and spoken out eloquently on these vital matters. One of them is my friend, Mr. Ed Asner, and his words, 9-11 has been used to justify endless war. Let's think about that, endless, endless war. And a continual rollback in civil liberties that seems to have no end in sight. And yet 9-11 remains the least examined tragedy in modern American history. Americans would never have agreed to the last two wars and the Patriot Act's disturbing policy had it not been for the events of 9-11 as described by our government. There are many disturbing issues around the events of 9-11 that have yet to be examined in any meaningful way by our media, by our Congress, and most especially by the ridiculous 9-11 Commission. And let me conclude by saying that if we're going to realize the kind of society that our, foref that our forefathers, that our founding fathers dreamt of and designed, then we must first clear up the truth about these events as they pose a grave threat to our democracy. And if properly investigated, if properly investigated these events of September 11, 2001, may serve as a vital catalyst to squarely face the truth, take stock, and renew our democratic tradition. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Hurd. Uh, now I'll introduce Kathleen Rosenblatt, co-founder of 9-11 Truth LA. I want to thank all of these wonderful people who have come today, Michelle Phillips, Penny Little, John Hurd, the scientists, David and David, and Bob Bowman, Colonel Bob Bowman, who's going to be featured on a program tomorrow morning on KPFK, the beginning of a new program that'll be on at 10 a.m. And then tomorrow night, excuse me, 
Saturday morning at 10 a.m. And then Saturday evening, we are holding our, our annual commemorative event for 9-11 at Emmanuel Presbyterian Church, starting at 7.30 up on Wilshire. And again, we will have some wonderful speakers, including Colonel Bob Bowman, who will be able to even extend, go on even further to talk about what's going on in this world. And I want to help thank our, my colleague, Frank Strasser. Come up, please, Frank, who has been the webmaster for the last year and a half. He has put together the website of the Actors and Artists for 9-11 Truth. And I want to thank Woody Harrelson and Willie Nelson, who have signed our petition, along with Rosie O'Donnell, Charlie Sheen, and our, the, our America's most illustrious writer, Gore Vidal. And here we stand in front of City Hall with the words of Abraham Lincoln behind us. Let us have faith that right makes might. I think it's very apropos. So thank you very much. The people of Los Angeles and the 9-11 Truth Movement want to thank Kathleen for six years of dedication and for helping organize this event. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And these are, these are roses from Howard Cohen, who has just written a screenplay about the future of 9-11 investigations, the one we're going to have. All right. All right. Thank you so much for, uh, to everyone who came down here today uh, to uh, explore this issue on the steps of City Hall. Thank you so much to all of our presenters, the actors and artists, the military professionals, and uh, the scientists. Um, just thank you and pursue the truth. Just go after the truth in your lives and demand it of others. And thank you very much for coming today. Thank you.